So four years ago, only after meeting Meg, yeah. did you start the process of trying to figure it out? You hadn't tried it before, no. no. And I quickly established that if this relationship was, was going to work, that I was going to have to deal with my past because there was anger there. And it wasn't anger at her, it was, it was just anger. And she recognized it, she saw it. Well, so how do I fix this? And it was a case of you need to go back to the past, go back to the point of trauma, deal with it, process it, and then move forward. Everyone has put themselves out there, has decided or chosen to be vulnerable, which in today's society can come with all sorts of complications. But, you know, hats off to every single person that's, that's contributed to this because we've all done it for the same reason. In the series, when you talked about how when you would fly back into London, you would it was like a trigger. Um, and everyone has triggers. And I'm just wondering how it was for you recently you had to return. Were you able to work through those feelings? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good point. I, um, I, I, was, I was worried about it. I was, afraid, I was afraid about it. But then going through the motions and being able to lean on the toolbox and le lean on the learnings that I've, that, I've, that I've grown from over the past, it, de it, it definitely made it a lot easier. But the heart still, the heart still pounds. You know, that's a, that's, that's a trigger, just like it is for anybody else. This year has certainly shown us with a big mirror in front of our humanity, mm -hmm. who we are. Mm -hmm. And so whatever was an issue for you before mm -hmm. COVID-19 became uh, magnified. So I think for a lot of people, isolation and loneliness yeah. has become a major issue. I think it certainly has put a mirror in front of grief because grief isn't just losing someone. Mm -hmm. Grief is the loss of anything that matters. Mm -hmm. And so kids were grieving, not being able to have their high school graduation that you've been thinking about. Being with their friends. Being with their friends and not being able to have life as you know it. And so this year has shaped who we are as a culture in ways that I, I think a lot of people still have not dealt well, with. Some people at the beginning of it are saying it's, a, it's been a leveler. I couldn't disagree more. It's not a leveler. Because the people that were already suffering are now suffering even more. That's right. I guess right. the one thing that we can agree on globally is that everyone has experienced a different version of the same thing.